Well, welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. A couple of weeks ago, I did a review on this reciprocating saw from DeWalt. Guys, it is just terrific. I've been using it since then. And you know what? It's all you can be right here. I like it. I like it a lot. So what did I do? Went out and bought this right here. If you'd like to see that uh, review of the uh, reciprocating saw, I'll put a link down below for it. And you can see for yourself how it actually outperformed a corded industrial reciprocating saw. So I decided to pick this up. Guys, I tell you what, I am getting some good smoking deals. And this here was just under $90. And it's a DeWalt 20 volt, four and a half inch. It says actually four and a half to five inch angle grinder. And it is the uh, DCG. 412B and of course the B just means that it's a bare tool only and uh, I do have the batteries and charger already so for the price you know what so what I'm expecting this to be just as good I've never tried one of these before uh, I have used other brands and they seem to work out fine I've never tried the DeWalt this is under 90 bucks I don't know what to expect I'll show you the grinders I have that are corded and uh, what brands I do like that are corded too. So let's take a look at them first. So here's my uh, corded grinder rack and this is a, a 7 inch no name. This is a Makita. Has to be 35 to 40 years old. This is a uh, no name from uh, Crappy Tire. This is a Makita. Actually I bought these two in a package together years ago. This is another no-name brand here. And uh, on the end here, I've got a floppy disk on it here. And this one here is just your regular grinder. And then this one here, I got a cutoff wheel. So I have all different various types of wheels for them. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get a cutoff and a grinder, and we're gonna compare them to the DeWalt four and a half inch cordless 20 volt angle grinder and see if it is just as good. I'm hoping it is for the money. I'd be uh, surprised if it's not. So let's just do a little bit of testing and let's pick out say the grinder first and we'll grind two pieces of metal and we'll see how it performs. Okay guys, I ran into a bit of a snag here. I don't know what's going on. I took the thing out of the box. <laughs> I, I want you to read something. Right, see if I can show you right there. You see where it shows what's inside the uh, kit? See where it says wrench? Guys, I'm gonna show you what was in there. Okay, it was not one of these. This is my own. I have a universal one where the uh, two pins can go in and out for any disc, right? <laughs> this is the wrench that they put in there. And I can't figure out where it's supposed to go. Like there's nowhere on there that has this size. So I have no idea what this is all about. All I did was I, I put the disc on. They actually give you a disc in the box. And uh, a nice feature that I have never seen before is this right here. It's got a little bit, I'll just undo it here first because it's kind of tight. But it's got an adjuster here for your guard and it's no tools required. It's just a clamp down deal where the other ones I have like a, a screw you have to undo so you can adjust the guard which position you want to put it in. Uh, but I haven't even put a battery in it yet and I noticed that it's, uh, it does have a, uh, a trigger lock so you can't press the trigger which is good. And uh, I tighten the, uh, the disc on there and I'll throw a battery in. And we're going to try it out and see. But you guys let me know what you think this is for. And by the way, I just show you uh, first before I get started. Uh, the only discs that I buy, and I buy them in a box of 12, is these here. Uh, I don't use these uh, no-name, wing-wang, uh, you know, you get uh, 10 for $2 stuff. Forget it. All you do is you fill your shop full of... Uh, full of dust and they wear your tool out before they actually grind anything. So these ones here, yeah, they're a little bit more expensive, but uh, 
You buy a box of 12, gonna last you at least 12 years, I guarantee you. So let's get over here and let's do a little bit of a comparison to see how good this is, whether it's got enough torque to do the job like a uh, electric one does. So let's go over here, let's test them out. Okay, so put all your safety gear on. I just got my uh, electric uh, four and a half inch grinder. Let's give it a try. Okay, so I just leaned into it just like you would normally. And uh, let's take a look now at the uh, DeWalt four and a half inch cordless 20 volt grinder and see if it can maintain the same torque levels as a uh, electric unit. Okay guys, I'm telling you, you can see right off the bat, it bit in there real good. I tell you, that is an excellent disc, that DeWalt disc. And uh, yeah, I'm saying it works just fine. Okay, so we'll cut this piece of rebar. I have both the exact same discs, one in the uh, electric uh, angle grinder I'm going to cut off now, and the exact same one in the uh, DeWalt 20 volt cordless. Put our muffs on, let's get this cut. Well that cut through no problem. Let's just try the DeWalt now. I think it cut great. Okay, so what do I think about this uh, grinder? Guys, <laughs> I think it's another great tool by DeWalt. I think it's terrific, exactly what I need. Tell you the truth, they're very close in weight. It's a little bit longer, it's not as compact, but you know what? I can handle this no problem. I have no idea what that wrench is for, but I will tell you, that this disc, I don't know if you know this or not, it really bites in nice. So I don't know who's making these for DeWalt, but these are a good disc. And uh, I always do something to my, uh, my tools as soon as I get them. And this is it right here. I always put, like this was in black. You'd never see that in a million years. It should be highlighted. And you could see right there. I put another arrow on there. If these guys are wondering what I use, I did a review a long time ago on these. Uh, if you want, I'll put a link down below if you want to see that as well. And uh, these are terrific for marking on stuff like this. Guys, I'm saying I like this thing for 90 bucks. I mean, you, you can't go wrong. And you know what? It's got all the features I need. Plus it's got one that I did not realize until I just finish using it now. Check this out. When I was putting the blade on there, it stands up on itself. No other grinder I have does that. You always have to lay it down and you're wrestling with it and everything. This here stands on its own, makes it easier to do everything on the uh, power head here, changing your, uh, your discs. I think it's a win-win. This stuff here, the technology they have today with the cordless tools is just awesome so i'd give this a nine out of ten only because they give me that wrench and i don't know what it's for but besides that real seriously it's a terrific tool i look forward to using it more and of course the first thing i'm going to do with this is sharpen my blades on my rotary cutter that i pulled behind my tractor up in my camp and before i used to always have to break out the generator get a whole bunch of extension cords this here is going to come in so much easier. Get underneath there, zip, zip, sharpen them blades up, and away I go. So thanks for joining me here today. Should, I, should you buy one of these? I would say, you know what, if you already have DeWalt batteries already, I'd say it's a no-brainer, guys. It's another winner from DeWalt. I like it. I like it a lot. 
Thanks for joining me here today. If you haven't seen this channel before, well, you're welcome to subscribe and see more of stuff like this. You guys take care now. Cheers.